all right guys so today's video is about how to make use of the sd card of your myfi so this applies to myfi out there you can just follow the step in this video i'll be using the orimo hotspot elf because this comes with sd card slots without wasting much of your time let's get down to business so the first thing to do here is to install your sd card please make sure you are getting a good sd card like sandisk or the one from other manufacturers that are known using anyhow sd card is going to corrupt your file and you won't enjoy using it so get a good one open your my file so this is our rimo my file i'm going to open it up and install the sd card you are going to see the sd card slot there open it up and insert it you are going to see an inscription there that shows the way you are going to install your sd card just push it into that slot and key it install the battery close the, the casing back and switch it on you can now use your host or your phone that you are going to use as the main one that you are going to use to you know send your files or send your photos your videos or whatever you want to send to your sd card so now this is the phone i'm going to use the s10 samsung and i'm going to be transferring files to this iphone here i'm going to log in first of all i'll switch on my wi-fi and once it is connected okay it is now connected to it now i can now go to my google chrome and go to the default ip address of this myfi so you can see that on the screen right now this is for my orimo myfi yours may be different so i'm going to input my password which is admin the default password is admin i have not changed that and now i am at the web ui this is the web ui of the orimo myfi as you can see, I have two devices connected to it, this and this iPhone here. So the next thing to do is to go to the SD card, which you can see here, SD card, select the option, and you are going to see SD card already exists and is available now. So as you can see, this is the SD card slot. Now, because we are not using USB route, we are using HPP share. So you have to make sure you select HPP share. We are using USB out. You have to get USB cord like this. Okay, you get a USB cord like this and plug it into your MiFi. Then you can now plug it to your laptop. But here we'll be using the HPP share. So I'm going to select HPP share here and select apply. As you can see, it says waiting. So I have to wait for it. Sussex. Now, the next one is to enable the HPP share settings. Select enable, and you are going to see other options drop down. File to share, is it custom or entire SD card? Because you want to access everything, you have to select entire SD card. Select that option, and if you want it to be custom, you can just select custom, all right? Now it says access type, do you want it to read and write? That is, you want to edit it and, you know, write it, or you just want it to be read? That means to be, you know, copy only so i'm picking read and write this question mark will tell you what it means as you can see there are some details here which you can go through you can pause the video and go through that but i've gone through that and it's just to share it's just to share some information about how to use this part to share option so if you are using this forward slash here that means you want it to access entire sd card so you don't have anything to cover or to hide from anybody accessing it so once you have done this, you are okay with the option, select apply, and it's going to show you success. That means you have permitted the SD card to be used entirely. Now you can go to HPP share here, select that. That's the next thing to do. And you are going to see this HPP share page. Now you cannot upload your files or whatever video or whatever audio or whatever you want to share, whatever file you want to share, just come here and upload it to the SD card. Now I'm going to select browse and I select browse It's going to go to my files on my phone. So I'm going to use a picture here to do an example. Here I'm going to pick this Orimo Rover picture. I'm going to select that and upload it. And it says uploading, please wait. Don't refresh page. 
and you are going to see that it is now there that means it has uploaded to the sd card on this my file okay now i'm going to upload another thing here let me browse again and go to my files and i'm going to upload if i want to upload a video i'm going to upload this video let me upload this video and upload just a short video so that i won't take much of your time so it's uploading now as you can see success now it is successfully uploaded now we have these two files on the sd card now the next thing to do here in case you want to download it or you want to share it i have to log in through another phone that is down to share the file with i have to log in to that phone if I want to go through the wired one, that is the cable or USB, I have to just plug my USB to this, another computer, and it's going to connect. But here, I'm going to go via another phone. So I want to get these files from this my file. All I have to do is to go to my browser. Now I'm going to input the address once again. That is the address of this my file. And send it. Now, as you can see, we are on the web user interface. Ask me to log in, password. And now you can see it has logged out my information here. And here it has logged in. Now, all I have to do is to go to the SD card portion here. Select the SD card and go to the HTTP and wait for it to upload and i can see the files here now you come to this option here select this and you are going to see do you want to download the option select download and it is there already let me select the second one download do you want to download this download it and you can see the option here showing that it is downloading and let me wait for it now it is downloaded now I'm going to save it to my iPhone here. So let me go to my downloads and select that. Save to album or save video. Now I can play it. As you can see, it is playing here. Because of copyright issue, I have to just play a little. And here is another. This is the Rover picture. As you can see, I've downloaded it to this iphone from this android using the sd card on this orimo my file this applies to all my files generally your interface may be different how you are going to do the setting may be different but everything is just you know similar the wordings may be different the steps will be similar so that is how to use your sd card on your my file if you have any issue any question any difficulty please Drop it down there in the comment section and I'll reply you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.